I'm Patrick Hopkins, Yacht Broker with Denison, and today we'll be taking you on a walk through the Beneteau GT49 Fly. We're going to begin the walkthrough on the stern of the boat. Here you have a teak hydraulic swim platform which is great for being at a private anchorage and you can use this as a teak beach. Just in front of that is a tender garage. This owner is currently using this for storage, so it is a multi-purpose area. As we step up into the cockpit, we have a teak dining table that is a high-low. As you move forward and starboard, there is one of the three joystick docking stations. On the port side, you'll find a wet bar with an electric grill and a refrigerator underneath. Also on the port side, you have access to the flybridge. Let's take a look. The bulk of your cruising time is gonna be spent up here on the flybridge. And the reason for that is 360 degree views and you'll feel a lot more connected to the outdoors. In the aft section, you'll notice a teak dining table. Moving forward on the starboard side, you have a full sun lounge. Just to the port of that are your captain's and co-captain's chairs. Here at the helm, you have a Raymarine E120 multifunction display, joystick control, autopilot, and everything else you're gonna need to go cruising. Before we head inside, let's go check out the bow. As we move forward, you'll notice the high stainless steel rails, making it easy to traverse to the bow and back to the cockpit. Here on the bow, you'll notice the large sun pad. It's great for laying out and catching some sun. All the way forward, of course, is your anchor and windlass. Now that we've seen the exterior, let's make our way inside. As we open the salon door, you'll notice it opens two thirds of the way. This allows the aft deck to become part of the salon. Here on the port side, there's a U-shaped seating area with a high-low table that expands to accommodate more guests. On the starboard side, you have storage, entertainment system controls, and moving forward, the lower helm station. Here at the lower helm station, you'll see everything you saw at the flybridge station with the addition of a Raymarine E120. The Beneteau GT49 Fly is powered by twin Volvo IPS 600 with joystick docking. This joystick makes the boat extremely maneuverable in tight spaces. Moving down the steps, we'll find the galley. And if you look up, you'll notice an atrium design which lets a lot of natural light down here. Down here in the galley, you have a full fridge and freezer, two burner cooktop, microwave, and double basin sink. There are many clever storage solutions down here in the galley, starting with the deep, high-low pantry, and what Benito calls the magic corner, in which you pull forward, and it reveals extra storage just behind it. Across from the galley is a guest stateroom with side-by-side -side berths. Forward is your VIP with an island queen, Port and starboard side are two large windows that let in a ton of natural light. The VIP has access to the ensuite on your starboard side. This also acts as your day head. Moving aft, let's have a look in the master. Here in the master, you'll notice extremely large hull side windows with a chaise lounge on your port side. The bed is king size and center line. Just forward of the bed is a large flat screen TV. On the starboard side, you will notice a hanging locker and additional storage. Most of the drawers here and doors are soft close. Before leaving the master stateroom, you'll notice a door on the port side. This is access to your master head with a separate full-size shower. Thank you so much for taking this walkthrough with me. If you want any more information about the boat or would like to come see her in person, feel free to contact me.